Hey everybody and welcome back to another tutorial and this time I'm going to show you how to make an infinite um, obsidian farm. So first of all you want to make your infinite lava pool that only works in 1.9.5 and I'm not sure if they're gonna um, patch it later on or not but for now it works. So place a normal piston above one of these source blocks, remove the helper block behind it again just helps you to place the piston and make sure you block off the other side so later on water won't fall through it. Um, now make a little trench for your water and leave it open for now and wrap some wire around here. I'm gonna use a repeater in between because the cable is gonna be too far. So in front of your piston I'm gonna leave one block here and then dig three down and then sort of make a stairway down here. Don't remove this block. Actually it's probably safe to replace it so I'm gonna replace it real quick. Uh, otherwise lava would fall through. And keep doing this. So this is the first source block. Uh, I mean this one. Now we are above the first source block. You see lava dripping through it. And you, ge you go one more down to the next one and uh, let me place some light here. I usually use lava for this. Uh, so this is your source block above here, and this is the middle spot. Get your hatch or sh uh, a sign ready, so you can block off the lava and remove the block, place your sign or hatch. I usually use a hatch because they are a bit cheaper to create. Um, they use one less stick than a, sh uh, than a sign and they pretty much do the same thing. Okay, so now the lava can't fall through here anymore. Um, I'm going to place a pressure plate here and connect everything with this wire. So what this does, um, let me create some light here, some lava light. Um, if you stand on this pressure plate, you will activate this piston. So it will block off the water that you're going to place above here in this block here. Um, so it gives you enough time to mine this obsidian block. This one here, this lava block you see will become an obsidian block so you can mine it from below. Um, I'm going to show you this. I place water and I hope you can see it. It's obsidian now. If you go down here and stand on your pressure plate, the piston will block off the water. So if you mine your obsidian now, water will uh, not come down because otherwise it would turn your source blocks into obsidian too. So just wait uh, till you see a new lava block and step back, step forward and you have a new obsidian block. You can mine it again. Um, you can keep doing this as much as you want. This is infinite. You want to make sure you don't um, step back too fast. Otherwise you will end up with uh, cobblestone instead of obsidian. And also make sure you never go back until you see a lava block again. Otherwise you turn your source blocks into obsidian as well and this whole thing is kinda broken. If I do this, ah, oh, that was a little slow. I can show you. Ah, see, it's not that easy. Sometimes lava regenerates so fast. I guess it would be a good cobblestone generator too, but... I'm kinda lucky, you know. Anyway, so there you go. Obsidian farm. Have fun and um, I think I have a design already to make it fully automatically but I need to experiment a bit more so we will see. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up to support me and yeah see ya.